So today we're going to take a ride on our friend Sam. Your horses can pull 500 pounds. It's amazing. Sam is a bit nervous today, as are we, so together we're going to relax. So, I don't think we have anybody that sends it, but what we want to do today. His abdomen. So you know the, the ribs, they mostly abdominally breathe when they're at rest, like we do. So in the same way that when you inhale and you push your diaphragm down, your belly goes out. The same so now I'm going to uh, synchronize my heart rhythms and my breathing with Sam's, and uh, so. Connection that is so necessary. I think I've even heard of a study, but I'm not sure. But oxytocin is like the feel-good chemical, like that comes from friends and loved ones, and mothers release it when they're breastfeeding. So it's not like the pleasure molecule, dopamine, but it's that overall more feel-good. And I think that um, the horses help us release that and. Probably even gets released on the horses when they have a good time with us. So what I'm doing now is making the connection, the emotional, spiritual connection with, with Sam. Speaking to him, uh, in a way, and listening to him. Seeing where he is, how he feels, and letting him see how I feel. So I'm getting ready to, Sam and I are getting ready to ride, I'm getting ready to hop up on it. Think about how do you deal with stress? Some people get fidgety or want to move or do something about it. But maybe there's another way to find our center by being calm when we feel stressed. And I know you guys are probably not feeling stressed, but Sam may be feeling a little stressed. See, I want you guys to experience this. See how loving and affectionate and close and intimate and soothing that is. Huge animals, the horses, but left to their own devices, they're so gentle and so kind. It's just incredible. And that's one of the healing functions. the horses actually touch each other, you know, even though they don't have hands. The brushing is uh, very pleasant, of course, for the horses, and it's uh, very soothing and uh, relaxing and healing for for us. I'm gonna have to bleed that one. It's called draping, uh, preparation for riding your pal. How he only realized last week how much horses touch each other. Their bodies touch and it's really so intimate and just so beautiful.
As I said, Sam's a big guy, so I feel as though I'm sitting pretty high up. I'm going to do the old hug and roll emergency dismount. This time I won't fall on my butt. Dr. Berkmeyer is scheduling um, sessions for, particularly for veterans, vets with PTSD, uh, or anyone with PTSD, but aiming particularly at our vets. Good, Leah. Jump on. Leah's turn to ride now. Leah was a cowgirl when she was a little, little girl. If you have friends or relatives who have been in the military, or vets, have PTSD, or anyone that you know with PTSD, please tell them that they can anytime contact the Berkmeyer Institute in Albuquerque and uh, get signed up for the sessions. We do thank you so much for viewing and for participating in the work that we're trying to do, the help that we're trying to bring, as I say, especially to our vets, but to anyone with PTSD or similar problems. And uh, it's so peaceful just to be out at the ranch with the horses. It's just an extraordinary experience, as you can see a little bit from from these uh, video efforts that we've that I've made. And uh, really, thank you very much, and hope that you will continue to watch and keep us in mind, and tell folks about us if you would. I'm Ron Talley. I take the blame for the guitar work. Uh, I and Florian, Dr. Berkmeyer, were the are the videographers, and uh, we thank you so much for watching. Photography was by Ron Talley, and 
Gwyn is our equine expert. Florian is our medical advisor, our doctor.